How often have we ever had an honest conversation with women in this country saying that having an abortion increases the, th th the chances for depression, anxiety, medication dependence? So um, does having a kid. Wow. <laughs> Hold on. Having children carries all of those same so risks. You oh, think yeah. having the children? That goes into it. You think <laughs> having children? No, is, don't mischaracterize me. No, that's I'm not, not true. I'm at all. not going to when, say that women, having a child necessarily gives you depression women or who have children. any of that. That's what she said. It, it can come yeah. with it. it like postpartum depression, for example, is, is extremely so common. It's temporary and short-lived, and obviously. Not always. Or some people last so years. So is the depression from temporary and short-lived. That's not. Permanent. You yeah, think but you, when you're years that, of living you're with not... postpartum depression can simply constitute a temporary Wait, so medical let's, issue? Let's theoretically even grant, so, so you're saying because of potential postpartum depression or financial burdens, the moral answer is allow women to go in. No, that was never my clinics. argument. This okay. had nothing to do with morality. This was a completely separate question. I'm only saying that I feel like you're trivializing and downplaying how serious conditions like postpartum depression can be when you want to write it off no, as like a temporary medical it's obviously issue real. It's, when it can be years long battle. Look, especially having, if it's having children is a serious choice. So what percentage of abortions, according to the Guttmacher Institute, are not rape, not incest, and not life of the mother? What percentage would you Probably say? Probably the vast majority. 97%. Yeah. So is abortion now birth control? Yes or no? no? No, I don't think so. 